With roughly 360 North Atlantic right whales in the world, agencies in Canada are trying to protect those left. A search for solutions not only on Earth, but in space. So how do you see a whale? So what we've done is we've trained machine learning algorithms to spot whales using satellite images. In other words... What we did with the artificial intelligence is to come up with what I would call a facial recognition for the North Atlantic right whale species in particular. And that's just the start. This Nova Scotia-based company, Global Spatial Technology Solutions, can find not only the whales, but nearby vessels around them. And using data like marine traffic patterns and whale feeding areas... We can get a higher probability of a collision occurring. And hopefully prevent them. Our concept would allow us to identify and subsequently track the whale in what we would call a moving haven. That means that we could limit the area so that fewer ships would have to slow down and move over. The company started working on the idea in 2021. And we have staff, of course, as I've mentioned, located across the country from... It's part of a program launched by the Canadian Space Agency, which divided $5.3 million among five companies tasked with using space tech to track whales. There are current methods for monitoring them with aircraft and with drones. The difficulty with that is, though, you have to cover a large area with a very small amount of technology. With satellites, you could potentially see a whale without ever leaving shore. But it's not quite that simple. Whatever we see from space has to be validated by what we see on the surface. Kirby says there's still several years of research ahead. Time of the essence for this endangered species. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Halifax.